This is David Solomon, and I'd like to perform for you my signature ace assembly. It's called the Sal Mar Aces. And it's done with the four aces, which I'll take from the deck. There's all four of them, and place them aside. It's also done with 12 cards. Three, six, nine, and let's get spot cards, 12. And we don't need the rest of the deck. Now they always called the ace of spades the leader ace because it could be seen from the balcony because it had one big black spot. These, on the other hand, were the minor aces, and they're placed out in the typical T formation. Now, on top of each ace, I'm going to take three cards and weight them down so it's harder to manipulate. And the last three will go with the ace of spades. So the object of the game is to make the ace move from here and join the ace of spades. Watch. That's the first one. And now, just four cards and no ace. And over here is now two aces. We'll do it at once again. Watch from here to here. And now, just four cards, no ace, and now I have three aces. The last ace is the hardest but goes the fastest. Watch from here to here, and now no ace. And joining the other three, I have all four. One, two, three, four aces. Now the only ace that didn't travel is the ace of spades. And I'm going to take it and place it back over here and make it travel from a distance. Watch. Gone. And now just four cards. And the ace of spades has traveled back. So I remember being in Japan and they asked me if that was the climax, and I said, no, no, the climax is this, to make this ace vanish, and this ace vanish, and this ace vanish, and where they go is where they started. All four aces. So this is called the Salmar Ace Assembly.